sir. I was greatly saddened by the death of Sinead O'Connor. She was a very different person behind her fame. In 1991, my 20 year old daughter Louise was suffering from terminal cancer when she received a phone call from Sinead out of the blue. Sinead had heard of Louise's illness from some source, probably the press, as we were raising funds for our local hospice. My daughter was a great admirer of her and loved her music. During this long call, Sinead invited my daughter to travel to London to spend some time with her. Needless to say, Louise was thrilled. A few days later, she met Louise at Euston Station, and to cut a long story short, Louise had the best week of her short life. They dined, they drank, they danced, but most of all, they laughed irreverently. Sinead was at the height of her fame at the time and found it highly amusing that when they were out, people were asking for Louise's autograph. Louise returned home exhausted and happier than I had seen her since her devastating cancer diagnosis. It didn't stop there. This lovely, compassionate woman always stayed in touch. She sent Louise wine and flowers and letters right up until her death in 1992. On Louise's last visit to London, Sinead gave my daughter her platinum disc for her song, Nothing Compares to You, and dedicated her Christmas record, Silent Night, to her. During all this time, Sinead never sought any publicity for these acts of love and compassion. So today, my thoughts are with two remarkable women who, I have no doubt, will be somewhere still laughing, dancing, and singing. Philip Wilcock, Lancashire.